Hey guys, it's Crypto Shaped. How's everybody doing? We're uh, out here in the, the shop, which uh, I'll have a little bit of information on this later on, on what is going to happen with the space. Um, we're out here today because I promised a video on Red Panda's Discord channel on uh, testing these uh, SATA power connectors, which nobody should be using these. So we are going to catch these guys on fire. We are going to load test these things and record it and document the wattage on what it takes to destroy one of these. So I got the load tester in. I believe it's a it goes up to 150 watts, which should be more than enough to destroy one of those SATA connectors because they're only supposed to be rated at a, I believe it's 54 watts. We we're gonna catch one of these on fire and destroy them, but this video is really supposed to be educational on why the community does not recommend using any of these SATA power supplies that come with these risers. Um, yeah, do not use them guys. And we're gonna, we're gonna see why here real soon. So here it is, brand new. Looks like it's fresh from China. So hopefully, Thing looks like a little uh, currency uh, crypto miner here. This little board right here. And it's got the little digital readout, which should give us, even gave us a little Euro power supply connector. Wow, that's awesome. Um, it should give us a readout of the current watts, amps, and voltage real time. And we can adjust how many amps and volts we're, we pull through the wires and then it dumps that load and heat, pretty much like a heating element right here. And that's what this is all about. It's gonna cool, cool it off. It's um, basically used for a lot. Some people use them to test like the 18650 lithium ion or the lithium batteries the rechargeable ones or you know other aspects the load test power supplies so we'll see how that works and then this other box is a bunch of uh yeah what's this about screws and fasteners and whatnot well that's for uh my new mining racks that I'm building. Um, I ordered a bunch of extruded 2020 T-slot extrusions. So I'll be building um, frames. I ordered it in eight foot lengths. So you guys will get a little uh, machine shop um, view there. I might do some machining on the one machine, but I'm gonna do all the the cutting on that that bandsaw right there so something we don't see here in the crypto videos some manufacturing going on um but yeah let me uh let me get this table set up and uh we will uh get this little device set up and uh we'll start burning some of these cables at different wattages three two one. This is at a uh, 51 watts, 4.5 amps. <clears throat> and you see temperatures are already up to 33 degrees Celsius.
it's almost 100 degrees at maximum rated operating um, 51 watts at four and a half so we're almost at 100 degrees already and this is the maximum wattage that SATA is supposed to operate on Okay guys, <clears throat> looks like we're hovering around 40 degrees Celsius and this is at 52 watts and 4.6 watts so I'm going to go ahead and step up to 75 watts which would put us about um, where a riser would operate at. We're going to go ahead turn this up 7 amps 75 watts Alright guys, <clears throat> we've been running at 75 watts and 7 amps on this uh, SATA power connector here and we're holding around 61 to 62 degrees Celsius which I think comes out to about 140 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit, sorry. We're going to bump this up to uh, 100 watts and we're going to see where we go. Alright, there's 100 watts. degrees Celsius guys 100 watts puts us at almost 200 degrees Fahrenheit is where this uh, connector is currently at and it's still climbing So we're over uh, 200 degrees Fahrenheit right now at 100 watts. Wow. 
Wow. And uh, those are pretty hot. They're like uh, spaghetti noodles. Cooked spaghetti noodles. I mean, they're there's nothing to them. They're just melting. Hundred degrees Celsius. Holy crap. Two hundred and twelve degrees Fahrenheit. One hundred and ten degrees Celsius, guys. That puts us at two hundred and thirty degrees Fahrenheit, and we're only at a hundred watts of power. Yeah, those are, uh, that is hot. So, 230 degrees at 100 watts is looking to be about where we, we're going to stabilize that. It might jump a couple more, but I think I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to 120 watts and see where we go. There's uh, 120 watts, 12 amp, 12.7 amps, sorry. You just see that temperature climbing as we changed it. Oh, and it's smoking and start to see the smoke. That's it, it's dead. So we've uh, we burnt the connector out. 120 watts, destroyed it almost instantly. There you guys go. This is uh, why we don't use SATA connectors on mining rigs or GPUs or risers. They're only meant for uh, hard drives and there's a reason why. Okay guys, so yeah. Not good.
do not use these to power your GPUs or risers. These things are, uh, yeah, junk, unsafe, definitely unsafe. Okay, guys, well, there you have it. Um, got the numbers there. 50 watts looks like the, the connector is running about 100 degrees. And then uh, 75 watts, it got up to uh, 140 degrees. And then uh, 100 watts, got up to 230 degrees. And then uh, 120 watts, got to 266 degrees before we uh, we burned the connector up, we smoked it. So that's a pretty good example on why you don't want to use these on your GPUs or I mean anything in general other than SATA drives what they're, they're originally designed for so, um, don't forget to uh, subscribe and uh, like and leave some comments below if you guys want to see me uh, burn up something else I'll uh, be more than happy to look into it so you guys have a good night